excited. I wanted to, you know, I really appreciate everybody showing up today. And it's a really big deal because we made five years. Can you believe it's five years? So for this momentous occasion, I'm, I'm just really stoked that um, a lot of our impact brothers and sisters at their own expense flew here to support us. So I just wanted to acknowledge them because it really um, means a lot that you guys came all the way out to spend it. So I'll, I'll start with you, Phelan. And where is Megan? Megan's over there taking pictures. Come here, Megan. Coming out. Um, Angelica. <laughs> wedding and they came in and supported us and so, so, so appreciate it. And before I bring in the video, where where um where's Nick? Nick! Nick, thank you Nick. <laughs> Nick taught our class the other night and it was just so awesome. So truly appreciate it. Um where are oh Zach and Ashley? <laughs> So much. Um, now, a couple of the girls are home, they're not feeling well, right? And so, Tracy, where's Tracy? Tracy, the mother of Natasha. The of Natasha. And of course, um, the most important person, I, you know, it's one thing to have an instructor who guides your jiu jitsu. And, you know, I've told this story before, but it's really everybody, when I opened up my school and I was the only female, Everybody came to me wanting me to be uh, an, you know, a check mat school, a cabinet school. Uh, you know, everybody approached me wanting me to be under them because I was the only girl. But the difference was every single one of them came to me telling me what they're going to do for me. And Michael was the only one that says, what can I do to help you? And he was more concerned about what my vision was and supporting my vision. And it's not just about jujitsu. I mean, they teach me all the jujitsu, but Michael, when I call him because I have a problem with, I don't know how to handle the situation or this you know, things with people or, or constant, you know, situations where I'm not sure how to deal with this, how to deal with the business side. He's always there and I always feel so much better because I feel like he's got my back and not just jujitsu, but my business and, and my business of jujitsu and my people of jujitsu. So I am just so grateful and so honored. And like I said, always gonna say it's the best decision I ever made. So thank you so much. For Are you thinking that I miss anybody? Okay, so um, real quick, I just wanted to say, um, Dylan, come up. Dylan was my coach when I was a white belt. Appreciate it. So he's kind of watched me from white belt all the way up and so more supporting me all the way and appreciate it. And Nihi again, Nihi won the fight to win. Um, we're going to go through, we have kind of a little tradition here in, uh, in uh, Impact, or in Impact Kahana Jiu Jitsu, it's a little different. Um, if you guys notice all these names, you guys might want to come on this side, oh, like switch right. That's the way the names all over here, then it was kind of our background for our pictures didn't look good. Um, but these are names, and what it is, is you know, every student wants to know what their instructor thinks of them, or they want to see, you know, what are, you know, this and that, and it kind of started like that. But basically, I have this thing, every time we have a promotion, I give everybody a nickname, it's never the same. So they have to try to figure out what nickname I gave them and why. So remember, you people that are coming up, whether you're promoted or not, you still gotta figure out which name is yours. Have You have three choices, three options before I, I uh, tell you which one it is, but it's just kind of a fun thing we do to make it interesting. Um, uh, there's a bunch of people that couldn't make it tonight, so um, I'll just kind of go through there. There's Ronnie, uh, Jessamine's out. Igor's, uh, Igor's gonna be coming in soon, um, and I'll acknowledge him when he comes in, but he's a, he's an army ranger, and he actually does jiu-jitsu with his three-year-old daughter in our family class, 
and him and his wife are just started training with us, so they just started the adult class. So um, he'll be in. Uh, Kara, gosh, I put all the ones are out. Um, this one's coming in later. Do that. Okay, Matt. Where's Matt? Come on up, Matt. August 2015, um, and the thing I love about Matt is when he came in, he said, you know, I've had a lot of injuries all my life, and, you know, they're not from jiu-jitsu, they're just a lot of injuries, and he goes, jiu-jitsu is the only thing that helps me manage my pain, and I thought that was really cool that, you know, he, he uses it for what he needs it for, which I thought was amazing, and after a while training, he would come, he would always send me these little emails, and I love because they're these long emails, he's a teacher, by the way, uh, language arts, right? That's right. And you send me these long emails where I say, you know, coach, I really appreciate that you make everybody be careful with me, but you know what? I'm feeling good. You can tell them to go a little bit harder now because I'm feeling like I can get it. Then he started going a little bit harder and he started getting really good. Then he asked me to do privates. So we did privates for a while, and before you know it, everybody's like, what's going on with him at? And he started noticing he's getting really good and stuff. So I really thought that was really cool. And unfortunately, because of his job and you know his health, and sometimes he's, he's in and out and not inconsistent. So he's not getting his promotion this way. But we do have a um, nickname for you. Have you decided which one was yours? I'm going to go with MIA. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Flow roll? That's it. Oh. Oh. Um, Alan couldn't make Alan and Gina were here earlier, but they couldn't make it. Cheryl had to cancel. Leanne, Lavin couldn't make it. Ron, John. Oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, John Tani um, has been out. His mom passed away, so he went to the mainland, but he'll be back in. Um, Natalie, where's Natalie? Now Natalie. <laughs> Natalie just started with us in December. Um, Mike brought her in um, to open mat, and she liked it, and we got her in class, and she started, and she amazed everybody, because she came in while we were testing, and so she had no choice but to get in and test with everybody, so her first day was testing, and I said, whatever you do, just copy what they're doing, and we just want to see how quick you catch on, and I gave her my DVD list where she can go online to her YouTube channel and watch the DVDs, kind of refresh herself. Well, she kind of surprised everybody because she was testing like a blue belt. And everybody was like, what's going on here? She actually took the time to study, okay? So she studied the videos and she's testing and I was really surprised. Um, I actually don't have the right, this, I didn't feel like you're testing one, I got the wrong sheet on accident. But we did give you a nickname. Now Natalie is also, for those of you, she's an officer in the Marines. So she's tough, she's strong, and she, she catches on and we just, we're just excited to have her and she's going to be really a good uh, competitor and uh, help everybody train better because she's very focused and get, uh, get in our, our driven. So what do you think was your name? Is it officer? <laughs> I rack my brain, and so sometimes you're not going to have a, a meme that's as creative because I still got to get to know you and get to understand your style and, and what you do. So sometimes it's you know you may not have a fancy one, but you know hey, you know I'm kind of overload. <laughs> okay, I got an excuse. I'm brain dead. Okay, John's not here. Geraldine, first of all, her two boys trained with me and they trained with me for quite a while until mom and dad decided they're gonna throw their towel in and they give it a try and she kind of shocked us. She um, very tough, very strong, and uh, I love the fact she's very committed in learning and uh, you know they don't get to come in as often, they come in once a week and they do what they can, but every time they come in they're committed, they're focused and they train really well. And so she has been training with me since January 2018. So you just need a year. Yeah, you just need a year. So you did really good on your tests. And so Geraldine is going to be getting her two strikes. Um, we didn't miss one promotion. Two strikes. Okay. Right here. And then you have to guess what name is yours. Have you decided which one is yours? You did! <laughs> because every time you train and I'm teaching you and I go and fix up, she goes, okay, hurry, I got this, I got this. And, she, and I, was like, I go, no, you're doing it wrong, you gotta do it like this. She goes, oh, okay, I got this. So, yeah, so she's like, I got this. Very good, congratulations. We're going to teach you the God. God. Hey. Hey. God is Geraldine, something like I said, their kids play, and John as well.
well, you know, they come in together and they always bring their kids. They're very committed to bringing their kids in with the camp, but they can only train once a week. So again, they've been training me for a year now, and you did your test and they did really well. So you're also getting two strikes on your belt. <laughs> People, I mean, some people only train once a week and so forth. We were supposed to have our promotions in October, but only a few people are getting promoted. So I said, you guys have a choice. I can promote you or you can wait till the big promotion and be part of the big celebration. So that's why some of them are kind of getting two strikes instead of one. Very good. Oh, and here's your card. Oh, your test. For those of you who don't know, this is their test. The adults test 99 techniques when they um, do their promotions. Whether they're testing or whether they're promoting or not, everybody tests. So we have our 99 techniques up on the wall. So, Ken, Ken here. Where's John's name? Huh? Oh, hi, John. Oh, John. Oh, oh, John. Oh, oh, What's your name? Uh, I'm assuming. You guys are good! <laughs> But when you roll with him, he's so strong. It's like, it's like, he can't budge him, he can't move him, so I'm assuming what's your name. Okay, Jason, where's Ken? Ken. By the way, John works at, and the reason why I started putting the jobs in, because everybody trains with everybody, but a lot of people don't know what the other person does. So at this time, I decided to put you down. So John works at Expedia as the human resource, uh, human, Resources manager. Yeah. Right, got it. Okay. Now, this is Dr. Ken. He's a gastroenterologist. Gastroenterologist. I'm getting better. <laughs> At Kaiser. Now, not only does he train, but he started with his two kids um, three when they were three and five. Yeah. Now they're four, four and, and six, yeah. seven. Almost. Almost. Seven. Next, okay. next week. So they also do, he, so he trains once a week. His kids and his wife train in family class, and then his kids train in class. So their family is very committed. But he also does privates. So he's like, when he does privates, we're talking, he does privates. He buys packages of 24 hours. I mean, he's very focused. He's constantly emailing me, what about this move? Am I going to hook here? I, and he's always asking me questions, and he's very dedicated. And um, the thing that has to happen. <laughs> <laughs> But what's really fun is Ken's only been with me for a year since January, just yeah. made a year, just January um, 2018. And in a year, even though he's in a little bit, he epitomizes being responsible for the quality of your jiu-jitsu. He's constantly on YouTube studying the videos. He comes to Open Mag, he knows our, to our privates, he knows what he wants to learn. He's got it down, he goes, this is what I'm gonna work on today. He's very dedicated, and the thing I love about him is all the blue belts and everybody's testing, and the blue belts start testing, and when they don't know something, well, let's wait for Ken, because he tests like he's a blue belt. So the thing that I'm thrilled about, I would say, looking at this card, 80% of these are three. And so for those who don't know how we test, one means you don't know it, two means you kind of know it, you're missing some details, or you, you need a little more practice, or you're not really confident about it, three means you know it. So he has 80% threes on his test. He's very committed, and I said, like a doctor, you take your training, and you're testing very seriously. So I'm very, very proud of you. So you are getting three strikes. I mean, based on his score, he scored as high as any blue belt and even better in some cases. But the only thing that kept me from getting you up higher is the fact that you need more rolling time. You got the knowledge, but now you need the math time more. And you're really good when you're here, but that's okay to move you up quicker. So, congratulations. Thank you.
You gotta wait. You got three strikes. This is taking time. Do you know the name? You gotta get the name. <laughs> no? Make sure if you're not up yet, you look and know your three names. Don't wait to look at them when you come up. No? Committed. Committed. Yeah. Got it. March 29, 2018, so almost almost a year. And his daughter trains with us as well. He's been really, I'm um, going says, he's really come a long way. And, uh, you know, when he first came, these big guys are so strong and, you know, so much power. And he's got really good. He's finally got to that point, I'd say, the last four months, really picking up on the momentum and it's starting to flow and, and come together. You did really good on your test. You're going to be getting two stripes today. Um, <laughs> I've been thinking about this all day. I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> only because it's a call. No, that's no? already taken. Oh, yeah, that was right. Uh, calm. No. <laughs> Ramblin? Ramblin! Ramblin! Yeah. <laughs> He's the owner of Sea Care Window Cleaners. 
questions and I love it. For those of you who are students, instructors love questions. So, you know, that tells us that you're interested and you really want to know and we love it. So he's always been like that and today he's going to get his first strike on his Zoom up. a lot of pictures for us in here. Um, she's been with me since February 2017, 
And Cindy is one of my kids' um, instructors. So she is in charge, her and Travis team up on Tuesdays when I take a day off. And she, uh, Travis will lead on the big kids class, six to eight year olds, and Cindy will assist. And then she takes over and she lead on the preteen class, nine to 11 year olds. So um, I've always, of everybody, I think I've relied on Cindy more because she has a more flexible schedule and she's never let me down. You're like always there when I can't make it and you're feeling like today um, or the other day, right? Um, I was stuck at the airport and the flight was late and I got, I got to be back at 3 o'clock and it's like, you know, 2.20 right now and, and the flight got delayed until 2.35 and by the time they can love you, then I, what am I going to do? I just call Cindy. She, she's always there 95% of the time. You know, I got this, I got this, so I really, truly appreciate it and I'm... Let's see, you're gonna give your, now, again, she's an instructor. My instructors, um, I take very pride, a lot of pride in because it takes a lot to be an instructor, but also when you become an instructor, you learn so much more and you learn so much fast. So when you look at their test scores as opposed to everybody else at their level, they are uncomparable. So just to give you an idea on your test, now again, there's one, two, and three, but I'll put a two, three, if you got it like a three, but there's one little detail, it's not a big thing, but one little detail missing, it might be a two, three. So based on that, every single technique that she's done is a three, with an occasional two, three, but never just a two by itself or one by itself. So I'm very, very proud of you.
August 2017. Now, Mark is an interesting story because when I was, before I had my spin, I was training over in Hawaii Kai, he kind of came in as a visitor and trained and, you know, was really impressed with him and then he disappeared and I never saw him again. And, uh, you know, I thought he rolled good, he was awesome, very polite, very, you know, just really respectful to everybody. And then I never saw him, and about a year or so later, I came over and opened my first school, and he happened to be around the corner, and he walked in, and he didn't know it was my school, he says, oh, I just saw a school, and I want to get back into training. So he signed up and started training with me when we first opened, and then I gave him his, he actually trained in London, and he was came to me as a blue belt, a, a no shark, just a blue belt, and then he trained under Hal Gracie in San Francisco, then he moved to Hawaii and, you know, just started training again. So I gave him his stripes on his blue, and then he took some time off, he had a baby, and, you know, and then when he came back, I said, well, he's also a wrestling coach. He's taught wrestling for many years, and he's done some judo. Um, amazing teacher, amazing teacher. And uh, he is the co-founder and CTO, Chief Technical Officer, I'm assuming that's what that means, um, of a new startup that he started um, called Un Unruler. Unruler, so. Um, he's also a programmer, right? A computer programmer. So he now has his own company. Um, so he's busy a lot. He can't always be in class, but he's always at open mat. And he's always, when he teaches, he rotates summer at class with me because he's such an amazing teacher. He's gifted um, with all the adding of bringing in wrestling and judo techniques to help with jujitsu. Um, so he kind of rotates. I do two weeks of summer and he'll do two weeks and, and he'll fill in when needed. Um, I'm really proud to have him a part of this team and he represents us really well. And he is getting his first strike on his purple. Yeah. Yes, I can recycle his name because he really is a samurai. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we're going to go get into our belt promotions. Okay. Um, first belt promotion. Uh, this is really exciting for me because uh, oh, my certificates and Mike, I'm going to push the belts over by you. First person I'm going to bring up is new to adults. He is now officially an adult. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, say, just only say nice things about me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Barnett. Let me find the right certificate here. Sorry, I should have checked this in advance. <laughs> I was a little busy. There you are. Okay, so Kai has been with me since he was 11 years old. Yep. Since 2014. I opened up my school in February 2014. He started with me in November 2014. Um, they just moved here from Japan. Um, you know, so he, they didn't know a lot of people. And a, another kid came in to try the class, and he came as a friend. And uh, the kid left, and he stayed. And he's one of those people that's a rarity. Um, he was naturally from day one. Now, this is the beauty I love about Kai. And those of you who know him today do not know the Kai that started here. Um, he doesn't talk. He doesn't smile. And when everybody's laughing, he's in the corner going, but when it was time to do the move, that's all he wanted to do. He wanted to come in and train. He wanted to do his move. He was very gifted. He competed in his first tournament about two months, three months after he started. And he won first place gold medal against some really tough kids. So because of that, they pushed him up to intermediate. And then about a couple months later, two, three months later, he competed again against a kid who was nationally ranked as a judo champion, but just started jiu-jitsu. So they only had him as a beginner, but he had Kai to go and he was a kid to beat in the whole state. And Kai went again, it was probably the toughest fight I've ever seen. They went at it nonstop, he didn't quit. And at the very last, like, what's it, John, 10, 20 seconds or so, I submitted him when it's that one against that judo champion kid. Points. Oh, it was on points. I'm sorry. But, oh, okay. And then you got him. You in the last one. You got the points. Okay. So I'm talking about the other two. But but he made us really well. It was very early on that I realized this. This kid is just gifted. I mean, he just his body was made for jujitsu. And so at 11 years old, at 12 years old. I immediately started because I wanted him to get his personality out. I wanted to start learning how to talk. So I made him assist me in kids class. And so he would assist me and I wanted him to start getting used to it. And it was the kids that brought his personality out because he couldn't handle all that love from the little ones right there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he just became addicted to him and he became really 
really good at teaching it, and that helped his jiu-jitsu game get even better. Um, Kai is well known at open mat here in Hawaii, because he will fight with two, three hundred pound guys. <coughs> he doesn't tell anybody no, but he's very good, he's very gifted, he makes us very proud to be here. And he just turned 16 a couple days ago, and so, you know, he's been training and teaching here, he teaches adults sometimes, and I told him, when you turn 16, you know, because he wants competitive training, and we're kind of a more mellow class, we're not a competition school, as well as some of our counterparts at, at Impact, we're more of a, you know, we're not a fight school, we're life school, and, but Kai is very competitive and he loves being here. So I said, when you turn 16, you are going to have your own class. And that's where you're gonna start bringing in the competitive side and you're gonna build that class and you're gonna be the one to focus on all the competitive stuff. So we're very, very proud of him. He's getting his blue belt today. He's at the 10th grade at Kaiser High School, and he's also an undercover agent with the CIA. So, <laughs> what's your name? I'm the Prodigy, I couldn't come up with that. So he's been kind of playing that, so he has a lot of experience in martial arts and in training. Um, and the thing I love about Mike is you would think of somebody of his caliber that comes and trains with me, being a girl and so forth, and you would think they have their own side, they have a confidence, like, oh, I got this, I know this. But the best thing about him is he's so teachable. Um, every time he comes to me, coach, what's this, what's that? And he's watching the videos, he's studying, he's showing his friends, he's trying everything. And every time I teach him, and I think that is interesting because when he first came in and trained, he was one of these guys you couldn't budge. He's like a mountain. He's strong and he's tough and he's, you know, he didn't know that. He never had formal training. So everybody would train hard with him. So he's always going hard. And the amount of calmness you've done in just the last couple of months, everybody's calm and calm. You're just so much more smoother and mellow. You're calming down. You're not losing strength. You're flowing better. Um, and because of all of that and your experience, you are going to get your food up because that's where you need to go. What's your name? I'm going to go with Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you guys are thinking he's Kong because of the big, strong guy. No. Mike actually does a lot of um, TV and extras. So he just filmed as one of the military guys on the New King Kong movie. Oh. So he's Kong. <laughs> One of the things before I carry on with the belt system is I want people to know a lot of times people wear their belts. Yeah, they wear their belts and you know they get really proud. And a lot of people get so attached to the belt promotion. And so when things don't go their way, they kind of quit because it's not satisfying them. They get a blue belt and most blue belts quit soon after they get the blue belt because they think something magic is supposed to happen, right? But then when they go to class the next day with their brand new blue belt, the same belts are tapping them out and the same blue belts are tapping them out and they get discouraged. So I always tell my students, the belt is not for you. 
The bell is to notify everybody else what level of skill you have so they know how to train with you. So if you take that out of it, the ego out of it, you can enjoy the journey more. So when I put someone like Mike in a blue belt, it's because they know they can train with him as a blue belt. He can keep up with any blue belt and purple belt on top of that. Um, I've seen him, I work with him. So in any case, when I promote somebody, it's can they keep up at that level? Can they survive and do you know just, and do just as good at that level? They don't have to win, but can they handle that belt? And that's important when I when I decide giving someone a belt. Show me. January 2017, and uh, she is just, of all of the, I train with a lot of people, but she, lately in the last, because I've been injured and I, and I can't really train hard, Shoni is the person that I go to when I need to train or I need to roll and stuff, because she's not so focused on trying to tap somebody out. She's not so focused on trying to go hard and win. Um, and I'm not saying everybody does it, um, but because the way she moves, I love working with her because she's constantly trying to figure things out. She's constantly trying to do things and try new things, even though she can't make it work. She doesn't quit, she continues to try it. And I think that is so awesome. And so I'll throw things at her and she'll go, oh, and she'll get back up and she'll try to do it and she'll try to stop it. She's asking questions. And I absolutely love training with Shoni. Um, she brings good energy. She's just getting ready to graduate KCC Nursing School, right? So. Currently, I've um, just started, she's our new instructor in training. So she comes in in teams and pre-teams and, and she helps out the kids fast so she can get away from school. And so she's our next up and coming instructor. So she's really amazing, very patient, and I'm so honored. Oh my, I forgot to give you a certificate, sorry. I gotta remember, I got all these things to give away. Um, and I'm so proud to be able to promote her to her blue belt.
Wow. I've been waiting for this day. Okay. Jerry actually came to me um, from UFC here, but it didn't start there. I actually had his brother-in-law, Oh, Fred. Okay. So he was training here. Jared came here to do extra training. So we didn't ask him to leave UFC and come by say, yeah, come on in, train with us. You can do extra training here. We don't mind. So because I was a brand new school and only had white belts, and he was a blue belt at the time, I thought, how perfect. No, you're purple. No, he was a purple at the time. And I said, how perfect, at least I'll get a higher belt. So yeah, come on down, it'll be good for my students. You know, that's how I was thinking about it. But I would be the last person on earth to say, leave your school and come to me. And so he actually did that for about a year, where he trained with us and helped out and so forth. And it wasn't until Michael came in and said, why haven't you asked him over here? You know, and I said, because I'm not gonna do that. He goes, well, I can. So, <laughs> so Michael kind of said, you yeah, and had a little talk. Didn't tell him to move, but had a little talk to see what he was interested in. He goes, you need to go talk to Jared. I think maybe you just, he's waiting for an invitation, you know? So I said, okay, well, I think I don't get it. I said, well, you know, here's the thing. I said, you're an upper belt. I know I got all white belts, and it may not be so challenging for you, but what I would like to offer you is the opportunity to become a teacher, because in his school, they weren't allowed to teach. And it says, if you come here, not only will you be helping all of my people, but I'm going to help you become a teacher so you can teach and someday maybe have the skills to own your own school. And he said, absolutely. So I thought that was the first time I finally got some help because I was teaching all alone. And Jared came in and he was amazing. And I don't know anybody that teaches more in the philosophy of myself, meaning that He's constantly making it fun. He's constantly making the new people feel comfortable. He's not intimidating. He makes it easy for them to learn. And, and he just makes everybody feel really empowered. And the beauty is that he will teach everything when we're testing. He will teach everything the way I teach. And then during class, I give him the freedom to add his own style from what he learned from UFC, whatever. And he, he does that. He says, you can this way and he's been able to bring some of that style in as well because I tell him you know it's important for people to have their own style. Mark has his style and you know um, Jared has his and so he's been really um, a blessing to have and he knows every single move. Um, I never have to question him. He's always there. He's, he's just really committed and everyone absolutely loves him. He's good people and he represents us really well and I'm very honored and thrilled to be able to give you my first product. <laughs> are going to actually train three minutes with everybody in. So they're like throwing up, they can't, and they can't stop. So that was our thing. But Michael, when he came in and did our first promotion, he explained the concept of whipping, and then I said, now that I can live with. I like that. So I'm going to let you explain the concept and philosophy of how we whip and why. Well, first of all, I've never used the word whipping. So... <laughs> <laughs> we didn't communicate well. I know. Yeah, no. No, in, all, in, all, in all seriousness, you know, this particular uh, ritual has been utilized in Jiu-Jitsu for many, many years. 
I've seen it go crazy wrong. It become punishment for the newly belted. That's craziness. We're not punishing them for succeeding in their efforts and, and making our team stronger. We're, we're, we're sharing a little of the mojo out of these belts, and that's it. Uh, and so uh, be managed with your strikes. I would offer you this, too. They all have great memories. So. <laughs> <laughs> no! Mike, what about it? Below the belt strikes. Legs are OK. No heads. No faces. Stay away from the equator. OK, so we're going to start with Kai. And Shoni, Mike, and Zaid over here. Oh, go hit the hit, please, uh, on Kai. Where shall they hit? Back? I'll be right here. There or the back? Yeah, don't go below the waist. Hey, whoa, whoa. Is there anything you want to say to these people? Maybe to convince them that you don't need to be whipped as a no. Oh. <laughs> say like thanks. Oh, uh, thanks, Ron. Okay. Uh, yeah. Are we ready, people? Ready? Hey. Woo! Go! Okay, go! What? Okay, I think so. Okay. You can go behind the 